Welcome guys, and today we are releasing our freshman All-American team, and I'm here with National College football writer Chris Hummer. And Chris, I want to go over a few of these guys on your freshman team and kind of see what we're looking at. The first young man I want to talk to you about is Clemson quarterback Cade Klubnik. Now this is an interesting pick for me that you go with this right here, because Dabo has been adamant that DJU is the guy, but you're picking Chris on your freshman All-American team, it must think you must think that he's going to play this season. So talk to me about K. This is an interesting one. I'll be honest. Like I'm not a thousand percent sold. DJ, you won't be the guy all year. Like DJ is a really talented guy. He was one of the best passers in America just two years ago. We saw what he did against Notre Dame. He could easily recapture this form. But there are only like one or two true freshmen in the entire FBS who have a chance to start right away. So I tried to pick somebody who could really impact the 2022 season. In this case, it's Cade Klubnik. Nobody would have a bigger impact on the National College playoff race than Cade if he took over for DJU midseason. And people have raved about Cade um, Klubnik since as far as I can remember. I live in Austin. I watched him play at West like a ton. He is as cerebral as it gets. He is ready to go from the jump. He's gained 20 pounds since he walked on campus. But he's just got a really special feel in and outside of the pocket in terms of his accuracy with the football and where he delivers it. He is somebody Dabo Sweeney has raved about, just like DJU. Yeah. And I think if we're talking week five or week six and DJ struggling the way he did last year, Dabo will pull DJ and put in Cade um, to get his offense started. We saw that with Kelly Bryant mm -hmm. and um, Trevor Lawrence a couple years ago. And I think if things go bad for DJ, it could happen again. Let's stay on the offensive side of the ball here. A guy who has been making dynamic plays all camp is Evan Stewart. Freshman at Texas A&M, the plug and play guy it appears to be. What's your thoughts on Evan Stewart and what is he bringing to the table this year for the Aggies? Carl, does 10-5-5 work for you in the 100? <laughs> oh, it works. <laughs> That's what Evan Stewart brings. <laughs> That's what Evan Stewart brings. He's, um, he is something A&M has really missed the last couple of years. They've only had one receiver, Anaya Smith, go over the 500-yard barrier since 2020. And Anaya is really a converted running back. He's more of a slot threat. Um, somebody that I think Barton Summers, our old colleague, used to call like a toy weapon. You can line up in a lot of places. Evan is a true alpha on the outside. He's a true number one receiver, and he is going to be that from a and right away. He's showed out in the spring. He showed out this fall, and I expect him to be one of the best freshmen in America, bar none. He's that talented. I got a call from an old friend the other day who was telling me that Will Campbell a freshman offensive lineman for LSU will be a day one starter. If you're good enough to start on the offensive line for LSU and the SEC West as a true freshman, you're a special, special talent. Let's talk to everybody about Will Campbell. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think Will went under the radar. He was a borderline top 50 recruit. Like, he was one of LSU's biggest prizes in the 2022 class. But he is somebody that just went in right away at LSU under Brian Kelly's new regime and impressed. He's put on 25 pounds since he walked on campus. He was already a big guy, six foot six, 300. Now he's 325. He's put on the weight quick. And he's somebody like since spring that's been taking first team reps. He's been locked in there. Like he's a freshman. I'm sure he's going to take his lumps. There's no harder position to play in college football as a freshman than offensive line, mm -hmm. at least in my opinion. But he is somebody those in the program view as a future all conference player and a first round draft pick. And I think he'll be starting week one, like no question. Like he, he is that dude for LSU. Now this player right here has got a lot of fanfare because he shocked the world by picking Jackson State and decommitting from the Florida State Seminoles, something that left the people in Tallahassee scratching their head. Now we've seen him through spring practice. He's been used at both corner and wide receiver for Deion Sanders' Jackson State program. What do you expect from Travis Hunter this year as a freshman at Jackson State? I mean, if Jackson State wasn't must -TV, watch TV already with Deion Sanders, I think it is now. I want to see Travis Hunter play football. Like, if you go watch his huddle just from his senior year of high school, it is the most entertaining thing you'll see in the world. He just dominates in a really high level of football in Georgia. Travis Hunter is going to step in right away in the FCS ranks. And I think he's going to, I don't know about you, I think he's going to be one of the best players in that entire conference and in that entire classification of football. I think he'll probably be a true freshman All-American and potentially an FCS All-American as well. And those are lofty expectations, but he was the best player in America in the 2022 class. And I think he's somebody those around Jackson State expect to be a superstar from the jump. There's a reason why they trust him enough to let him play both ways, just like Deion Sanders did at one point. And I think he's going to be an absolute stud. 
Lots of talented true freshmen here in this group. Guys, pay attention to our list today. Like, subscribe, follow everybody in the network on Twitter and social media. For Chris Hummer, I'm Carl Reed. We'll see you next time.